He's been a champion in Manhattan here. We're going to hear from him. And he is a president who really cares about the Guinean community, who cares about what is happening in our community, who cares about what is around the world in our countries. And he is here today with us to share with us our concerns and also hear our messages and also carry our messages and help us with whatever we desire, we desire which is what we are asking for freedom and liberation from all that we know is against human rights we've been asking the United States and international community to help and talk about human rights violations in Guinea and the sub-Sahara Africa. Mr. Matthew Higgins will be um, speaking in a bit about you know, the reason why we're here and he will tell us a bit about himself and how he has been with us in the community. We thank him so much for being with us here today and um, I will stop here for now because we have a lot to say and we have a lot to do and we have a lot to share together. And once again, we say Mr. Mandy, welcome and welcome to the Guinean American League of Friends. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Encore une fois, merci. Merci d'être venu. C'est ça la Guinée. L'accueil. C'est ça la compagnie voyage. Merci à tous. Merci à tous. Mais il y a un moment. Maube, Tariba, Dire, Délégation Unie, mais le Mr. Mark Levin, welcome. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour. Comme a dit le monsieur Diallo, je suis Marc Levin, je suis président de l'arrondissement de Manhattan. Je suis très content. Merci beaucoup. Très content de vous rencontrer, d'être ici avec toute la communauté canadienne. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Maintenant, maintenant en anglais. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'll do the rest of the speech in English. I, I want you to know how precious the Ghanaian community is to Manhattan and to New York City. You have contributed vitality to the city in countless sectors your energy, your entrepreneurship, the cultural contributions you have made to New York City have been incredibly valuable. You have made us a stronger city and I am so grateful for that. Please, yes. And because of how much I love and we love the Ghanaian community here in New York City, it pains me to see what is happening back home in Guinea. It pains me to see that a country which inspired the world in 2010 with a democratic transition has now descended into a period of such terrible human rights abuses. We see the abuse, the lack of free speech, the terrible oppression of minority groups, the violence, and uh, I want you to know that we consider it unacceptable Unacceptable, and I am so pleased. Yes, applause for that. I am so proud that the government of the United States has stood up to denounce the current regime and the human rights abuses currently occurring in Guinea. It is unacceptable, and know that as your Manhattan Borough President, I stand with you. I stand with the community. I stand with Guinea. I stand against the abuses. And you have me as a partner, a partner with Gals, and a partner with the entire community. So, Viva the Guinea! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ça, un bon message. Très important. Et tout à l'heure, quand il va s'asseoir, nous avons beaucoup d'invités. On va aller vite, parce qu'il y a d'autres qui attendent. Merci encore une fois. Thank you. 
Haja Isuku and Haja Fatuma Tijeru Daniel going to Howard University.
We deserve to be happy. We deserve to have a voice. We deserve to be known because we are Guineans, phenomenal. Phenomenal Guineans, that's us. We are strong. We strive for our success. Do we give up? No, we keep on fighting until we reach the end. The end might not be near, real far away, but keep in mind, when we succeed in our wishes, our fight will finally be over. Yes. Our fathers, our mothers, our husbands, our wives, our children, they don't deserve this. We won't stop. We won't fear. We won't accept failure. Because we are we are again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you. Ça donne de la, de la sueur. C'est extraordinaire. Merci beaucoup. Alors là, on y va. Let's go. Ok, là, c'est notre nom, mais c'est Michel Ravi Nokon, Hadja Adamaba et Ali Fanta Marena. They're going to talk about justice. Slam Alekou. My name is Adam Ba. I'm originally from Guinea Conakry. I'm an author and an immigration advocate. I migrated to America at the age of two. You may think that I'm disconnected from Guinea because I haven't have never been back, but it's far from the truth. Unlike many people, my family left behind back home. I was given an opportunity that many women in Guinea aren't offered. As a woman, I was able to get an education and advocate for the undocumented community in America. As a woman, I was given the opportunity to health care, education, and free will to choose my path in life. When we talk about justice, although America itself has been criticized in certain areas, we are in a much better place than many other countries. Justice is the most fundamental and most debated topic in humanity. Justice shouldn't be based on people's greedy policies, but on an fair and equal treatment of people in society. Justice means securing and protecting all rights, regardless of their religion, language, or ethnicity. We can attain justice for those silenced by sharing their stories and advocating for change. For those living in America, make sure you vote, get involved in your local government, so that when the time comes to get support from your elected officials, they hear you and can advocate for those families we left behind. Dr. Martin Luther King said, Injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank you. alaikum, everyone. My name is Ajifanta Marena, and I was born and raised in the Gambia, a neighbor of Guinea. Um, today I'm wearing a shirt that says, I am a dictator hunter, and in the bag it says, We want justice. I want to share a little story behind um, why I'm wearing this shirt. Today, um, on March 23rd, 2006, over 15 window-tinted military vehicle, vehicles filled with soldiers surrounded our house. It was midnight and dark outside and we were not expecting visitors. The soldiers spilled out of the cars with large machine guns in hand and at the end of the evening, my father in handcuffs was gone. I was eight years old and my little sister was three years old and we witnessed this. My father, Daba Marena, was the Director General of the National Intelligence Agency of my home country, the Gambia. He was falsely accused of orchestrating a coup d'etat against the Gambian then dictatorial president, Yahya Jammeh. As a result, my father was extrajudicially arrested, denied his right to a fair trial, and made to disappear. The very institutions made to protect us failed my family and so many other families in the Gambia. My family and I did not know my father's fate until 11 years after his arrest. After the toppling of the Gambia regime in 2016, through public testimonies is where we learned of what happened to him, that he was tortured and murdered by the former dictator's death squad and military officials. As an eight-year-old, I lived through the consequences of a government that violated its own constitution, international human rights laws, 
and basic tenets of morality. Losing my father in a violent and meaningless struggle fueled by political greed shaped my determination to help similarly situated individuals. Every day, millions of children around the world go through worse than what my sister and I and so many other children experience at such a young age. The nightmares never end. The impact of the trauma never leaves. Losing a parent never leaves. Memories of the horrific night are inescapable. And Thursday, March 23rd, 2006, was the last time I saw my father, and simultaneously it was the inception of my passion for promoting democracy, rule of law, equal justice, and peace. And that's why I'm here today, because Gambia is not an exception, as we see what's happening in Guinea today and in so many other countries around Africa. And it will continue to happen unless there is accountability and the international community stands up again. Assalamu alaikum. Aha, aju ni mendi mbeno kanda sana. Onjara mara mi kwanga si mumo no maba arai mi do presenta do ande mi dengdo delegation imordo siralion lam be amembeng alma mi amengong kwanu andi lono noka sabo be mo i i video jini ka social media arai siralion mi wabi he di tinda alma makuhu arai delegation mola na do nolo. Il y a des Almamiens, Nabi, et Hiki de Mapé, nous avons député en Almamiens, comme Chief Al-Hadji Mohamed Sajjo Jallo, comme Al-Hadji Lamaran Mboube Nso. Alors, avant de tout, ce que je veux dire en Poulard, je veux dire en anglais, nous sommes ici comme une délégation de la Guinée. Le directeur Abdraman Jallo, PDG de beaucoup de radios à Guinée, un activiste, un homme qui se bat pour la Guinée. Merci, Dr. Abdraman. Thank you. Bienvenue. Ah oui. Bah. Bah, applaudissez, s'il vous plaît. Dr. Abdraman Bah, PDG de Fortegolem, PDG de GPPFM, et bien PDG de beaucoup de radios. Merci à vous. Thank you. Canada. From Canada. Et là, je... Amadou, Amadou Ouri Diallo. From Belgium, Belgique, Hadja Hawanatou Sal. S'il vous plaît, where are you? Merci beaucoup, Hadja. Et il est accompagné de M. Amadou Sor. Where are you? Merci beaucoup, Ella Jamadusso. Merci, thank you. From Australia. Très bien d'ici, hein. C'est presque notre continent. Australia, Monsieur Yassine Bari. Oui, thank you. Uh, from Brooklyn, New York. But he's a, a grand activist from Africa. Son nom, c'est un consultant panafricain, Jacques, Jean-Jacques Iwa. Il est là. Levez-vous, s'il vous plaît. D'accord. From, in the USA, Memphis, Sheikh Mamadou Aliou Djalo. Sauvez pas. Ba. Sheikh Mamadou Aliou Ba. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. C'est vous? Sobeba. Thank you. Ensuite, Atlanta, Georgia. Vous avez M. Sherif Abdul Majid. And also, uh, we see uh, Elaz Lawal from Atlanta. And Imam Ahmed also from Atlanta. Elaj Lawal. Dwayne Lawal. Thank you. Merci. Ce sont les délégations, les chefs de délégation. Délégation qui dit 
le loudi kon ben yeme not ko chef delegation nga xare be not dal do be o ya photo michigan monsieur ibrahim ba merci from chicago elash bailo satina jalo Boston, Massachusetts, Monsieur Mamadou Saliou Bari. Thank you, Elash. Et il est venu avec Hadja Salimatou Ba. Texas. From Texas, Monsieur Alpha Balde. Ah bon? <laughs> Balde Alpha, merci beaucoup, hein. un grand politicien, un intellectuel. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Alpha ba. Balde. Philadelphia. From Philadelphia, Monsieur Amadou. Philadelphia. Thank you. Merci. And also, Monsieur Alassane Jambouria, who can lead, I just saw him. Elash Jambouria Alassane. Merci beaucoup, Jambouria. Indiana. La délégation de Indiana. Vous avez. Elash Abdraman Ba, notre ami, le plus jeune imam, mais il y a deux ans, trois ans, hein, le plus jeune, il y a quelqu'un qui est plus jeune que vous. Merci Elash, thank you, mon ami personnel, my friend. Vous avez M. Suleiman Diallo, from Indiana. Thank you, M. Suleiman. Vous avez M. Bashir Diallo, from Indiana. Thank you. Vous avez M. Abdullahi Fula Bari from Indiana. Uh, L'FNDC pour la défense de la constitution de la Guinée. Vous avez M. Saïdou Bari. Saïdou Bari, il est là. M. Saïdou Bari, FNDC. Il n'y a pas de manifestation ici. Hein? <rire> And we also have from Washington DC Mr. Rick Wolf. Accompagné Vous avez monsieur Ahmed Gibrisso. Merci beaucoup monsieur Gibrisso. Vous avez euh, le bureau national et fédération les différentes fédérations ici. On m'a donné deux noms. Dr Sank de Nijosi au compte des fédérations. Merci beaucoup. Et vous avez M. Omar Diallo au compte de, du bureau national. Omar Diallo. Au compte de la fédération. Bien. Le bureau national va venir. Les lagisman, l'Alpha Badusso, les colons Silla et tout le monde. Hein, ils vont être là tout à l'heure. Brooklyn, New York. Vous avez M. Salusso. Il est là. M. Salusso, Brooklyn, New York. IFDG. Merci beaucoup. Vous avez M. Moujitaba de Portal. C'est ça, non M. Moujitaba, IFDG, autant pour moi. Levez-vous. Merci beaucoup, M. Moujitaba. Et vous avez... Colonel n'est pas colonel. Mais ici, vous avez Mme Colonel, c'est une dame. Mme Colonel Ramatoulaïso, qui est de Brooklyn, New York. Applaudissez, s'il vous plaît. Bien. Women TV. Le conseil politique, les proches de Seydou Dalé. Seydou Dalé sera le 15. On a oublié le conseil politique et l'âge saut, que nous appelons affectueusement Nations Unies, l'ambassadeur. Monsieur Sot, s'il vous plaît, levez-vous. C'est notre ami personnel. Oh, initially, our purpose was to ensure that we had free, fair, transparent elections in Guinea, free of human rights abuses. The first thing that we did was a video basically putting President Alpha Kanani on notice that the world was watching. The second thing we did was we got then Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to send a public announcement stating that the United States 
wanted free, fair, transparent elections without human rights abuses, and that those that violated these tenets would suffer the consequences. And let the Guineans know the United States stand with Guinea. The United States will never stop fighting for Guinea until Guinea becomes a democratic country. Yes. Without saying a lot, I will let you hear the ambassador mes ambassador's message directly to us, to the Guineans, and all friends of Guineans around the world. Thank you. Oliver, I'm pleased to address you today. Indeed, I'm pleased that there is a Guinean American being a friend's country. As the U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Guinea, I'm always happy about stronger ties between the peoples of Guinea and the United States. I will discuss the United States' engagement with Guinea, but first I want to recognize the critical role the civil society, political opposition, and diaspora groups such as yours play in strengthening democratic institutions. Active political participation is essential to strengthening democracy in Guinea and in the United States. The United States has stood by Guinea throughout 63 years of independence. Even during difficult and challenging times, we have always extended our hand in partnership to the people of Guinea. We continue to advocate for inclusive constitutional democracy, for productive economic initiatives, and support for the Guinean people directly through effective education and health programs. In this current pandemic, American investments in health systems paid off as Guinea sought to mitigate the ravages of COVID-19. Even when Ebola raised its ugly head again last year, it was American-supported institutions that reacted swiftly and effectively, halting the virus in a matter of months and with minimal loss of life. As we partner with the Guinean people, we're advocating for fundamental freedoms, for open political participation, and for justice and dignity. Guinea was born a nation of peace and leadership, and the citizens of Guinea, the region, and the world need a Guinea that builds upon that history. Right now, Guineans of all backgrounds are hungry for more political participation, more effective service delivery, more security, more opportunities for their children, and a more open and transparent political system. In short, Guineans want more democracy, not less. We hear your calls, and we continue to urge the transition government to transition swiftly to constitutional democracy. The longer the transition, the more the transition government risks instability and frustration from the Guinean people. In Guinea, my team and I are encouraging dialogue among all stakeholders to strengthen political pluralism and ensure that everyone's voice is heard. Civil society, political opposition, and groups representing broad perspectives must be allowed to participate openly in the democratic transition free from harassment or intimidation. We have been clear that such political dialogue can only succeed if all sides feel confident that there can be a positive outcome. We are urging the transition government to commit to a transparent transition timeline and public benchmarks so that the international community and, more importantly, the Guinean people can hold the transition government accountable to its promises to, for a rapid return to civilian rule and constitutional order. We also support ECOWAS efforts to hold the transition government accountable to the Guinean people and encourage both ECOWAS and the transition government to work together in good faith. As you well know, former President Conde's efforts to secure a third term were neither consultative nor transparent, and it resulted in a political crisis. To avoid a similar fate and mitigate tensions, all stakeholders, including the political parties and the transition government, have a responsibility to work together for the benefit of the Guinean people. Allow me to reiterate that Guinea is a critical partner of the United States, and we are proud to stand with the Guinean people to build a brighter future. And let me just say, I adore this country and her people. No matter what political differences anyone may have, we all want the same for Guinea's future. Thank you. Le message est clair et c'est parti.
Euh, on y a photo. Le plus souvent, on oublie. Dans la même salle, vous avez les proactivés du foutard. L'abbé, elle a joué pour ça, mais elle a fait un Levez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Moi, je dis à l'abbé, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. Timbit, elle a joué pour ça. Le représentant de l'Elash Abla Djibril Diallo. S'il vous plaît, Elash Abla Djibril. Fanny. Timbo, Elash Ali Moualalo. Quand on me sait que Elash Moustapha Nando, on est au calme Maoube, Kali Moustapha. Elash Moustapha, Fanny, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Kader Salga, Dr. Alseni Bardé, c'est une personne ressource qui est dans la salle. Merci beaucoup. Et ensuite, voilà. Les autres communautés, la Haute-Guinée, la Moine-Guinée, la Guinée forestière, invitées dans cette salle, si vous n'avez pas votre nom ici, merci à vous, merci d'être venu. La Guinée est une et indivisible famille. La Guinée est une famille. Merci, bravo, Sonny Baldé, Média d'Afrique, merci à vous, merci d'être venu ici. Merci. Je termine par Elaj Baba Gallé. L'abbé qui est là avec nous, qui se bat matin et soir, partout sous la pluie et la neige, pour la cause de la Guinée, rien que la Guinée. Thank you, Elash. Et quand on a vu la ligne de mon casal, on y a photo, on a, 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 Monsieur Bandewani, ségrégation, le président Ibrahim Sori Bande. Mikari Mawa, le ségrégation, le président de partenaire en haut. Minute. Minute. Les imams de la délégation de Quiz. Non, Abbé Amigaro, on va dire ségrégation. Mikari Mawa, le président de partenaire en haut. Allez-y, allez-y. Gossas, Maman Dali, au Brooklyn. Ah oui, tu n'avais pas vu. Il y a le masque. Merci beaucoup, Elash. Thank you, Elash. Et au partenaire en indirecto, au Tchernali. Ah. Tchernali <rire> Diallo, Média d'Afrique. Merci beaucoup Tchernali. Sonna Benoarbe, il y a eu un rappel à la délégation Cuisson. Elage Hadi Bari. Et Cuisson, il faut que vous ayez la fille. Merci beaucoup. Elage Hadi Bari. J'ai fini par Hadja Maria. Thank you. Merci. On va maintenant avec elle. Tout à l'heure. Let's go. Euh, Madame Diallo Aïsatou Mali. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 